who died of the illness. May Allah grant her heaven. Amen. And now he is the leader of the movement for justice. He is the leader of the Pakistani political party. Please give a big round of applause and a warm love and welcome to Brother Imran Khan. Oh, all the uncles are standing up now. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I really want to thank the Unity, the Global Peace and Unity Organization to get me here. Give me about 15 minutes to talk to you. Oh the say. most important thing, the point I want to make tonight is this, that it is extremely important for Muslims to be able to convey to people living in Western countries that there is no correlation between Islam and terrorism. Unfortunately, through a planned campaign, Islam and terrorism have been linked. And 1.3 billion Muslims are on the back foot, on the defensive, trying to justify that Islam has nothing to do with terrorism. And what the point you need to make is this, that according to the Holy Quran, 124,000 messengers of God were sent on earth. All of them with one message. And the message was that the Almighty wanted us to be human beings rather than intelligent animals. Animals believe in might is right survival of the fittest, whereas human beings have compassion and justice. And Muslims were supposed to be and should be the community that, is, that should be compassionate and that should believe in justice, just like every messenger of God to every human community brought the same message. So when something like 9-11 happens, we should be able to tell those people who blamed 1.3 billion people for the acts of 18 people that terrorism knows no religion. All religions preach the same thing. And unfortunately, we do not have either the political or intellectual leadership in the Muslim world to be able to convey our point of view. So we have things, we have words like Islam or fascism, like radical Islam, when Tony Blair and George Bush say that the enemy of Western civilization is radical Islam. 